the best way to use Gmail with your G Suite account on your iOS device is to download the Gmail app from the App Store. Once you've installed it, you'll want to run the app the first time. Tap Sign In. Now, you'll be prompted for your email address for your Gmail account or your G Suite account. Type this here and tap next. Double check your spelling. Now you'll be prompted for the password. Tap next. You can tap not now for this screen. I have two step enabled for my G Suite account. So if you also have this, you may need to swap back to your text messages and get the two-step verification code to proceed. Just slide your finger at the top of the bezel of the phone to switch to the text message and then double tap the home button to switch back to this window. I'll enter the code I got from the text message without the G. Now you'll see I'm signed in as Bailey at sastech.net. Using the Gmail app, you'll get to use all the G Suite features such as attaching files from Google Drive. Plus it's safer too because not all of the email is stored on the device, saving precious data storage. While reading any message, you can reply or forward at the bottom of each message or in the menu of the email. If you want to sort the message, you can archive, trash, mark as unread, or sort from the menu at the top. And the back button will bring you back to the index of emails. You can also star a message and it'll put it in your starred folders for quick reference. Compose a message anytime by clicking the pencil icon at the lower right. The down arrow will have other two fields and contacts come from contacts.google.com. You'll also be able to attach files from Google Drive. Just click the paper clip at the top to insert a file. Click OK to allow Gmail to access your camera roll. Like regular Apple Mail, you can attach camera roll, photos, or any recent attachments that are in your Gmail, or from Google Drive, where you can send a huge files, and you're not restricted to the limit of sending mail through email. You're only sending a link to the file. I'm going to attach a Drive file. And here I'm going to select a PST file, which normally would be large, too large to send through regular email. I'll select the more options because the file needs to be shared from Google Drive first before I send it to the recipient. From here we can select our sharing options. If I want this to be only readable by the recipient, I'll select that and then I can select permissions for that recipient. They can either view, view and comment, or view, comment, and edit. I'm gonna leave this to view only because it is an archive. Then when you're ready, push the send button at the top. Sending drive files from your mobile device is quick and easy. The menu at the top will let you switch user accounts if you need to use Gmail for multiple profiles or view all of the folders that are stored in your Gmail. Best of all, 
search is in Gmail. You can search all of your messages regardless of whether they're on the phone or not. Just type a couple keywords. Remember to download the Gmail app. It's the safest way to view your messages on the go.